Lindsay, the trial garden manager for Renee's Garden Seeds. And today I want to introduce you to a summer squash that we have that is not very well known, but I really think it deserves more attention. This is the Trombetta squash. This is an heirloom squash, summer squash, so you harvest it fresh. And I really love this squash for its flavor and its form while it's growing. It's a vining squash, so you can grow it up on a trellis and save space. And the squash themselves just have such a wonderful flavor and the really long, interesting looking squash that are really enjoyable to grow and eat. So I'll show you how I grow them. I've already got my bed here prepped with a good amount of well broken down compost and some dry all purpose vegetable fertilizer. And I have added that to my bed and mixed it all in really well to the soil. And I'm going to plant my squash seeds right in place. So the way I like to plant squash is that I'll put three to four seeds in a little group and those little groups spaced 18 inches to two feet apart. So I'll take my, we'll go with four seeds, just put them right into place and then push them down into the soil about one inch. So each seed is spaced about uh, about three quarters of an inch apart. And then I like to cover them with these little strawberry baskets so that when they germinate, we get a lot of birds around here that love to go around and pull out little seedlings. So this gives them a chance to germinate and stay in the soil. So cover it with a strawberry basket and once they germinate, we'll take the basket off and then we go ahead and thin them. So now I have my stand of squash here that I'm going to thin and I put a little bigger gopher basket over these to protect them before I thin them because they got, the weather was very hot and they got quite of big, but I like to keep them protected while they're small. So I'll take their basket off and you can see I've got a couple seedlings here. Again, these are a little bigger than I would usually wait to thin them, but here we are. And so you can see one is much smaller, so I'm going to thin out the smaller of the two in the group. Remember I sowed about three seeds in one spot so that and I ended up with two so that's the reason why you'll sow more than you need um, because some always don't come up or a snail will get them or various reasons. So you'll go through and when they're big enough you'll thin out the smallest one leaving only one plant every 18 inches to two feet. You only want one plant because having more than one isn't going to do you any favors if you don't give each plant enough room to grow and mature and have enough root space you'll just have stunted plants so one plant every 18 inches to two feet is enough space for them to have enough room to grow and mature to their full potential so another one i'm going to take its little basket off and i'll thin out the smaller of the two and so on down the line and then We'll come back when they start growing and I'll show you how I train them up the trellis here. So these squash are great because you can save space by growing them upright up a trellis or you can also let them ramble along the ground if you have lots of space. But I like to grow them this way up the trellis. So here we are with our trombetta squash. It's really growing vigorously now and you can see it's starting to vine, starting to send out tendrils and the stem is getting pretty long. So. I'm going to start training it up my trellis here. I have these expandable trellises, which are really handy for growing vines. And you can also grow them on a wire fence works well, or you know, any kind of pretty sturdy support that you have. So I'm going to train it going upwards. And I have some just soft string here. And I'm going to tie it about halfway up to the trellis. Not too tight because you don't want to pinch the stem at all and damage it. Just enough so it doesn't move. And these, you know, they need light training at first, but eventually their own tendrils will start grabbing on and it'll train itself up the fence. And then as it's growing, you can go through and help it along wherever it needs. And then I send the top of the plant through and kind of weave it through a little bit just like that 
Now it'll start grabbing on all on its own. We'll come back and visit when it's a little bigger and it's producing fruit and we'll show you the next step. Here we are with our mature trombetta squash and they're looking really good. You can see they've trailed nicely up the trellis and I've sort of helped them along the way training their stem ends through the fence so that they all grow upright and take over the fence. And we've got lots of mature fruit now. So these are what they look like when they're ready to pick. So I'll go ahead and clip one off. This is just about the right size to pick them before they're a little too overripe and the skin gets tough. Now they're still really tender and these are like some of the best zucchini you'll ever have. They're really sweet, kind of a nutty flavor and they almost sort of taste like artichoke hearts. So these, I just take them and chop them up and throw them in my frying pan just like a zucchini or you can roast them with olive oil and a little salt and they're so delicious. Here on the vine I harvest them regularly so that they will keep producing. You can see there's some that are coming on so once these are big enough I'll harvest them and they're still blooming away too so the more you harvest the more it will keep them producing. But this is one of my very very favorite summer squash varieties and I really encourage everybody to grow it. And you can find the seeds for our trombetta squash at reneesgarden.com. Thank you.